Good day once again and welcome to Marine Mechanic videos. The topic for the day is hovercraft working. So as we all know hovercraft is an amphibious vessel which means it can cruise over the land at sea at same speed without any a lot of friction and other resistances. So with this simple explanation and principle we are going to understand how does the hovercraft hover or levitate or lift and then propel forward either at sea or on shore. We have a container like this upon the ground like this and we have a fan which is going to suck in air and then blow at the bottom of this container towards the ground. Now as the air comes in, due to a little bit of pressure build up within the container, this starts to lift up. The container lifts up and some amount of air escapes. So depending upon the throughput of air, the container lifts up. If more air, it lifts up more and more air escapes out. So there is a limitation with which there is a balance with respect to the amount of air coming in, the weight of the container and the amount of air escapes out. So this is a simple theory behind the lift of a hovercraft. Now with this in mind we compare two scenarios. One is the open plenum theory and the second one is the closed plenum theory. If you are confused or not understanding the word plenum, let's quit it and then we will simply concentrate on the theory what it is all about. So as I said earlier we have a container here and this is the ground and with the fan, a powerful fan driven by a diesel engine or electric motor depending upon the type of the hovercraft, the air enters at a high pressure and it pushes, exerts a thrust on the ground and the container or the hovercraft lifts up and some amount of air escapes. So this was the theory or with the design with which the whole craft were designed in earlier days but the recent theory they have started to follow a theory called as momentum curtain theory so what is a momentum curtain theory a mass quantity of air falls like a curtain or behaves like a curtain thus enabling the whole craft to lift with a little bit of more pressure than this scenario how it is possible. So let's assume the fan to be of same capacity in this and this. We have a channel like this, two channels and there is a block like this and this area is called as plenum and here the air is completely going towards the ground and the lift is achieved, some amount of air escapes. The more amount of air you put in, the more air it escapes and the force is almost going to remain constant based on the balance between the weight of the hovercraft, amount of air escapes and the power of the fan to put in air. In the same conditions over here, with the same fan and the same amount of air, the air is going over here into two or three channels. When you look at the top here, it's going to be like this. So throughout the periphery of the body of the hovercraft there is going to be air channelized like this and then part of air is going to get trapped underneath here and this offers an uplift or a force to lift the hovercraft little bit more than what happens in this scenario and this is due to the plenum which is over here all right and the amount of air escapes as you can see in this diagram and this the amount of air escaping is controlled by the amount of skirt it has that is the rubber projection which is extended well below the plenum so this controls the amount of air which is escaping out and this levitates more than this so this is called as momentum curtain theory of a whole craft previous diagram we have seen the open plenum and the closed plenum or the momentum curtain theory of the whole craft principle. So here is the actual diagram. This is a vague diagram of the open plenum one and here is the fan 
which takes in air from the atmosphere and then it's just putting it down over here. So a lot of air escapes and the lift obtained from the this type of open plenum is comparatively very less when compared to the closed one. So assuming here to be the water. So a lot of air escapes. So if you put more powerful fan, the lift obtained is going to be marginally increased but the amount of air which is going to go out is more. So now let's come to the closed plenum theory. Here we have a surface which is closed and let's assume here to be water, sea water or land. So here is the blower or fan with the motor and here is the air which is sucked from the atmosphere. It is diverted on both sides like this and you can see the angle of the skirt which enables the air to go underneath like this hitting the seawater or the ground so it can go like this and then it acts on top of this portion and the amount of air which is going to escape is very minimal when compared to this one so that's why you get a higher lift in the closed plenum or the momentum curtain theory of a whole craft so the current day whole crafts work on this principle. Now let's understand the propulsion system using a diesel engine. Assuming this to be the forward and this to be the aft of the whole craft, the terminology is same with respect to what we use in the shipping. So here is the diesel engine which is located somewhere at the center depending upon the center of gravity of the whole craft and the diesel engine is coupled to a gear which is going to rotate the fans at a higher speed. One is the aft fan or the rear fan which is going to offer the forward movement or aft movement depending upon the type of the pitch of the propeller. So here is the clutch which I have symbolically displayed over here. You can engage and disengage depending upon whether you want the movement or uh, to stop the whole craft. Right? So here is one more clutch and here is the bevel gear, rotate a fan which pushes the air down through these two channels just underneath and then lifts the whole craft. So two fans, one is the rear fan which is for the propulsion and one is the lift fan which is just to lift the whole craft from the surface of sea or the ground. Now here is the cockpit, you will be having a flap type rudder same like the aircraft what you uh, see on the tail. So this rudder, depending upon the number of fans, there may be two or three fans sometimes depending upon the size of the whole craft. So this rudder is controlled from the cockpit, similar like the aircraft or ship's rudder. And when this flap turns starboard or port, the whole craft moves starboard or port accordingly. So that's the simple working of whole craft.